they shattered the window when we were in there. Like that's just, it's not right, it, it really isn't. It is in the process right now of being torn down. We got into it to show you guys and um, before it's actually totally gone. Um, yeah, but who we got here? We got Mo Sarji right there. What's up guys? We have Ethan. His link will be down below. He's starting on his YouTube channel. Obviously Mo's link will be down below. But guys, this is pretty epic. There's some nice spots in here. I can't wait to show you guys from the outside. I normally don't show outside, but something on the outside is pretty cool. Some of the inside is pretty cool. Let's go. It's the front door. And guys, the first thing you notice when you get in here, this still has power on it, but this is a recorder, like a tape player, that would go around the entire house. So there, there's, it looks like there could be speakers all around the house that would play the music. So you know how old this house is by that, by a tape player being at the front door. So it's just kind of cool. So. Look at the ceiling right here. This is amazing. Nice old school fireplace. Let's take a peek at it actually. Oh, that's to lock the doors. Okay, I got it, I got it. The way we found it, obviously. I think this door was first. So it's got the lip on it. There you go. Pretty dope. <clears throat> I still can't get up like the ceiling, it's amazing. There's a set of stairs already from the kitchen. Well, there's one front door, this has two front doors. And there's a set of stairs right here. They go in the basement. Look at this. There's a deck back there. There's the other set of front doors, double. This is a nice staircase going down, windy. There's a bed in here still. I wonder if like squatters would sit in here. I don't want to show you too much in the backyard, you might have already got a glimpse of it, but I'm seeing what's in the backyard for the last. Um, so, but guys, if you're enjoying this video, smash the like button right now. Oh, look at that, there. 
Oh, how are you? Oh, the door's actually open. Huh. Oh, what's this? Oh, that, that would have been a jacuzzi right there. Hot tub. I can show you what's in the backyard here. A lot of trees, a lot of privacy would have been there. Big driveway. Not much, it's more like a, a dead office room. So, not much in here. I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's the part of the speaker system from the front door. I'm gonna go down these set of stairs first. It's a big room. What? Oh my god, this basement's huge. Backyard. This is another entrance to go outside. This thing had three front doors. This yeah, is another front door here. I know, I've seen that. Holy crap. How many front doors do you need in a mansion? Lockbox with a key. Oh man. <laughs> Back door. What's this? Oh, there's some underwears. Mo Sergi, your underwear right here. Oh, that's actually pretty big. Oh, that light just went on. What the hell? Guys, you see that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought when I put my flashlight on, let's see. Is it motion censored? It's motion censored. What? Oh, there's a motion sensor right there. Look at that. You don't even need a switch. That is pretty freaking awesome. Damn. A motion sensor, so you don't need a switch. You just walk in the room, into the closet, and there you go, bam, it's on. That's pretty dope. I, that's the first time I've ever seen something like that. Look at that, I got goosebumps. Every time I find something different and new that you never see around here, it's, wow. But you can tell the age of this home, it's, it's, uh, it's, Definitely pre-2000 for sure. Where's that go back outside? Garage. Is it, is it gra the garage is to the side? To the left, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I still can't believe it's got three front doors. I know. Okay. What the hell? Holy moly. I'll show you some more of the outside soon. Oh my god, do I do it? Doesn't smell. Oh! 
Vitamin water. Damn. Let's see, do the, the lights gotta work in here. They do. What? Let's see. What is this? These are the garage door. I'm not even open the garage. I guarantee it's got power. So if you want to park your car in front of the garage and not in the garage, so if, so if he had like more than three cars, you put three cars, probably three sports cars, whatever, whatever a, a, a drug dealer would have, would have his better cars here, his other cars right in the front here, he'd park there, come through this door, and go directly into his basement. Backyard. This is pretty dope. Actually, I didn't go into this part yet. This part's cool. Just get my light. What's this? Oh, this probably would have been laundry room. Oh wait, is this a kitchen? This is a kitchen. Another kitchen. Like look how old fashioned that stuff is right there. Those light plugs are old. It's a little tight getting through there, but you know. Pot lights or maybe the speakers for the radio upstairs, I don't know. Uh, the pot lights would have been up here. There's a, looks like chandelier thing right there. So that definitely could have been the speakers for that tape player at the beginning. Here's the other set of stairs here. What is it that? Oh my god. What is this? No way. What? You're kidding. Underground tunnel? Oh, the spiders in here. Freak. Look at them all. It doesn't look like it goes further, but this is not to be seen, this tunnel, definitely. Holy moly. Look at the ventilation it would have in here. Why would it have this ventilation? Oh! <laughs> What's up, Carlo? This is a cool little tunnel, eh? Dude, what is this, a secret tunnel? Yeah, this is probably where he kept all his stash. Oh, that's cool. Oh. All right, so obviously I was trolling you guys. I knew there was somebody in here. That was Carlo. Uh, he's with me on this adventure today. So shout out to Carlo. Yeah, what's up Carlo? What, what is this deal? This, is, this has got to be ventilation for if they had the stash in what here. This white spider. Yeah, um, there's a bunch down there that you can go play with that I'm not going to. Alright, I'm going to go and explore the rest of the house. I'm going to go and explore the rest of the house and then come back to that secret tunnel that I just found. I didn't do it. Did you just touch my ass? I did not. I always knew you would do it in this tight, dark object. Yep. The place Definitely. Place. Definitely. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool, this place. Yeah. Also, this is another kitchen. Dude, the backyard is so cool. What's back here? Well, it's the yeah. furnace. I actually like that secret room. That's cool. All right, guys, we have kids trying to break into this mansion. Oh, yeah. Right there. 
over. He said we come in peace. Oh shit, dude, he's coming around the other way. Where? I just see that. So guys, the kids that were just trying to break in while we were in here, they left already. That's the thing. You're gonna get a bunch of kids. Once our videos are shown, they're, they're gonna pick up on where it is and they're gonna come in and crash the place. So I might do a revisit on this place in about a month or two if it stops. Uh, they're destroying it because this house was made with uh, drug money. That's why they, they confiscated, they seized the house. And um, yeah, that's, that's why they're tearing it down because they don't want stuff like that. Like look at my other drug mansion, the same thing happened to it. The, the cops seized it, they demolished it, and they're doing something good with it. So maybe they're gonna build a park here because the lane's pretty big. We're going outside in about three, two, one. Have a good day. All right guys, so we're in the backyard. So guys, are you guys ready for this? This is how drug dealers lifestyle are watch. A lot of these mansions are actually referred to drug dealers mansions. This one here, like I said, I can't tell you who these drug dealers are. Oh, look at this, Mo. Built like right up against the wall. Just perfect for this. For like, for the pool. <laughs> Oh look, Moses there's a pond. Look, there's a pond. Mo. Why? You guys go in that back thing? Look at this property, guys. Look at all that, it's the whole property right there. in here that's it. it's covered with trees everywhere it's got so much privacy and that's what drug dealers do man they, they cover themselves with so much privacy that no one can see what they're doing uh, it's actually a pretty nice place to be honest when it's one of the nicest in my on my list I would say uh, so, with that being said, I'm going to end this video off right now because, I don't know, I think those kids are coming back. They're, they're probably going to wreck this place no matter what. But, uh, either way, down below will be Ethan's link. Mo is somewhere over there. I don't know what he's doing. Probably playing with the spiders. But his link will be down below. Check both of those guys out. Um, don't forget to stay positive. Merch is coming out. It's already out, actually. Link will be down below. Grab some. Uh, yeah, stay, uh, keep it real. Stay positive, and that's it. I'll see you next time. Peace. Right, guys so as we were leaving the house we were finishing up doing our b-roll and stuff those kids that tried to break in we got a way in look at what they did they shattered the window when we were in there like that's just it's not right it, it really isn't so um, and that's the thing when when big places like this come up the, people want to get in so bad we didn't we found a door open we didn't break nothing and we locked the door back up 
so no one can get back in and we went through a different entry point that you would never know so um, so you know what I mean um, look at this we're on a basketball court right here look 